Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are surrounded by pageantry. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And now we'll get a look at this offense for the first time today. And as this star running back comes onto the field, everybody in the stadium knows he's going to get it. The defense knows it. Doing something about it is quite a different thing. It's hard to stop him. It's hard to handle because he can do it in so many ways. He can run by you. He can run through you. He really has the whole package, and that's why he's a superstar, and that's why they'll feed him early and often. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Right back to the well. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. Stopped for a short game. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. Nice move to keep moving. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Running back searching for a hole. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. It's first and 10 from the 31. The give to the tailback. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Pulls it and fires to the left. Pick up a five. They'll need five more on third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Looking to throw on third. Quick strike complete. And he's brought down after a nice game. Ooh, boy, his freshman quarterback has a hose. Did he see that thing in there? Trying the left side. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he barrels into the end zone for a touchdown. The offense goes as he goes. So really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Getting set for the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. An 84-yard drive there, and it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. They'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. 
gets it out quickly. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. It's a draw. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab on the left. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And first down. Comes out throwing on first down. And they get the sack just like that. wanted to establish the run and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've switched into the field and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And he missed it. No good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to make Running toward the tape. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. When you talk about creating big plays in the running game like this, this makes the game really easy. Actually, when you've got a guy like this that you can hand it to with this much speed and elusiveness, just hard to bring down in the open field. What a big game for the offense. Big play offense, and it has them threatening now. First and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. The lone back's got it. Able to get one down to the 15. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. They'll put the tight end in motion. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Fires to the tight end. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he gets it back to the four-yard line. No farther than that, no gain on the play. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Tries again to get it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That brings us to third and goal from the six after they went backwards on the last one. The play action fake. Trying to get to him. And the 
quarterback goes down at the 11 yard line. And this is what the offense knows they cannot do. They can't allow sacks. In their last game, they were sacked five times. Obviously lost that football game. And early in this one, they're having issues again, keeping their quarterback standing up straight. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. On the field goal. And it's right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Fresno State is down, but they are not out of it. Not there inside Bulldog Stadium, one of the more enjoyable places to watch a game in all of college football. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Hawaii. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll give it to the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25 and pick up a two. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run play action. Gets it to the back. At the 35, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Might as well stick with him. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. No huddle here for the offense. He's going to look for a man on third and short. He's moving out of the pocket. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. Number the punt team makes its way onto the field. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Here's the handoff. At the 35, he's open. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. To the air on first down. Working the middle, it's complete. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Trying to find his man on first down. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. He's got it down the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. He wants to throw it again. It's complete to the left. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. A new set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. And now on second down for this offense. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys, and they're 4-1. They got the job done. And here comes the punt team. 
First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. Puts a boot to it. Didn't see a lot of him in that loss last week. Only called on twice. They're backed up. First and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. They'll try the run. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Right back to the well. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Jacksonville for an entertaining first half than you? Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to the guys at JSU Stadium. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Trying to set the tone with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. To the ground with the back. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. The expressway is wide open. All the way in for the touchdown. Eight, Quarterback's five, abilities to read the field is huge. And two. also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. A first down for the offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Running to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. After that last incompletion, the offense is now in punt formation. He'll call for the fair catch here. The offense lining up for a first down play. They go to the ground. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. Looking to move it through the air. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. That offense. 
defense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. After the miss on third down, the punt team is on the field. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Give to the running back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give to the back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab over the middle. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. They'll run it from the gun. At the 45 on his way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. They're working that left side. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. On second down, looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's battle. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Working on the right. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. And first down for the offense. Leaves it with the running back. He's loose. Got some room headed to the goal line. And into the end zone for a touchdown. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Fresno State has the lead right now, but this Bulldog Stadium crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. They're up by 11 over Hawaii. Power football with the run. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll give it to him again. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Second down coming up. With a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. Set up for second and short after that completion. He's looking to throw.
Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroach, encroach, defense, defense. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. They'll throw on third and short. It's complete to the right. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. And first down for the offense. They'll leave it with him. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the back. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Between the uprights, it's good. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This drive will start from the 19-yard line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The throw. Got the back over the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. He threw a couple of costly interceptions in that loss last week, but a really good job to take care of the football in this one. And Reese, at that position, you better have a short-term memory, right? Quarterbacks have to forget about it, move on. All kinds of running room. He's at the 10. And he'll take it in for a touchdown. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. When you've got a losing skid, there's nothing like some good old home cooking. They came back home, and they have played an outstanding game. And let's give this crowd a helmet stick. They've been so loud. You know they've impacted this game, and that's the beauty of college football, helping their team get back in the win. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'd love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. They're setting up the screen. And the completion gives them a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. A third and long coming up. 
up here. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He's got an open man. Makes the grab and steps into the end zone for the touchdown. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Lining up to add another. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First snap of this drive will come from their own 17. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. Off play action. Shoots it to the left. Wide open downfield. Can anyone catch him? And he's brought down after a huge completion. One big play can really flip the script of a drive. It's first and ten from just outside the third. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Grabbed behind the line, it's battle. Stop is made at the 22, a 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They'll go to the ground. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Wide out in motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Pulls it in and runs into the end zone for a touchdown. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Caught over the middle. It's Erickson. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And that pass picked off. Takes it the other way. 
And he's in for the score. Touchdown. Starting to see some smiles on that sideline as they're close to a Week 10 victory. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. A lot of work to do as this drive will start from the 16-yard line. Looking to go up top on first down. It's in! Completed. He's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. That's a first down for the offense. And they'll get to the line and spike it to stop the clock. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. And to get rid of it quickly. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. How in the world did the offense retain possession? This is a long fourth down try, but the offense stays on the field. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Couldn't find his man, and they'll give up the football on downs. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.